Hey everybody, Big Z coming at you. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but today we're on uh, the 2014 Dodge Avenger again. No, it's not a new, you know, always a problem now. It's a very reliable car. Uh, today we are replacing this. This is your wheel speed sensor. And you can see it falls right here. All the way up in here. And if you're wondering where it plugs in at, right, at this, right there. See that red little tick down there is right there? You gotta pop that to get that out. Other side's easier. Passenger side. So anyway. So what we're doing, we're replacing that because I've got three lights that come on same time, which is my brake light, my ABS light, and my vehicle stability light. All three came on same time. My braking hardware is good because I can stop still. Brakes work great. It's just the lights all come on. I've done a lot of research on this, and I'm just this is one step I'm taking to see if that fixes the problem. Now. One thing I'm doing because this is an electronic part is I am just connecting the battery, which is a 16 millimeter. Take that off. Take that out of the way. There, so your battery is disconnected, so that way when you install the new parts, which I've got here. For the left and right side so that way when I get them installed I reinstall the battery and then the computer can relearn these, these new parts so they can work together and I'm going to be doing another video later on the actuator door motor um, so waiting on that part to come in but um, let's get started so what we're gonna need is a 13 millimeter Ten millimeter, yes, I, the 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 missing ten millimeter that always disappears. This one I keep in a special place, and of course, like I said, sixteen for the battery nut, and so you don't lose the nut. Just put it back on here, so it, you don't lose it. Don't go anywhere. All right, so what we're gonna do undo. Let's take this one off. Once it's at the top, that's a darker bracket. You want to take this one off. Make sure I got this going the right way. Because I'm only doing this one handed. Come on. Oh, ow. There it is. Came off easily. Broke for easily. I'll take this one out. And the same with this one, which both of these, this one and this one, are both your 13. All right, so we got the old one removed. And I can tell you, it was not easy. Everything was in place pretty good. Now, in order for me to reach back in there which is almost impossible I removed the back part of my airbox so it allowed me to reach through and grab if you can see this right here I know it's kind of blurry but which is the clip for this now the ones that I got Are marked so it's easy to tell which goes on which side this one has an L on it the new one has an L on it they're both clearly marked L and R for each side of the vehicle now, like I said I suggest taking this air back part of your air box off unscrew this take it off you know your, your breather tube your everything to that make it easier 
So you can access down here. In other words, you're not gonna get your hands in here at all. And I even used to help uh, a Primar. And then I did the same for the other side. Got it all disconnected already. I just gotta unwire it. Now, and everything is included. So it comes out through here, runs down, and then I got still gotta pop this out. But your new one has the replacement for this. So it just pops in, wraps around here, bolts in here. I'll put this back so I didn't lose it up in here. Wraps around, there's a new piece for here. Then it goes up in here. That's where it goes. So. Excuse the noise, that's a tree trimmer down the street. So, let's get this installed. All right, so, like I said, bolts into place, everything snaps back in. I, I broke the other clip off here, so I've got to adjust this a little bit. But it wraps underneath. Goes in there. All where everything you was going pops up there. All you gotta do is re plug her back in. You can see it? I certainly can't. There it is. So just plug that back in. Driver side's done. And then you do the repeat on the same side. And then we'll get back to you. Alright, got both sensors in. Got everything put back together. Plug back in like it should. I'll do one in as you can see. This is the passenger side. You can see it down there a little bit. Yeah, right there. Now, I'm gonna say this every video. I'm not a mechanic. I do this on my own free time. I do this to help other people that may need help on their cars, particularly the ones I'm working on in the videos. Ah. Uh, I don't know if this has fixed my problem yet. I just got it all back together. I gotta put more, more tires back on. And uh, I'm gonna, and before I close everything down, I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and tight. Uh, back the way it was before I took it all apart. And then we'll see if these lights go off. And I just, like I said, I just put the battery back. There you go. And so the nice thing about this here on this car is you don't have to go all the way down to try and get to that battery because that's a pain in the butt which I showed in a previous video. So you just, like I said, this is the negative. You can take that off and it removes all power from the car. Uh, all sensors are all plugged in. Get this put together and then uh, we'll see if it works. All right, after a few days of uh, driving, uh, it the lights finally reset. Uh, they're off, so replacing those sensors did help. Um, it, it, and what it'll do is after you replace those sensors, despite unplugging the battery, um, best to do, the lights still might be on, but you gotta give it 10 to 20 cycles. So start and stop, drive, start and stop, you know, you gotta do 10 to 20 cycles before your lights reset, especially on your model cars. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, especially about 2014 Dodge Avenger or any of my previous videos, just let me know. Thanks for coming to my channel.